work over your network um, so you don't need to have like uh, closed circuit television cameras for doing different security things. Um, so the first thing I wanted to talk about was connectivity. Of course, um, if you want to view your network cameras over the internet, you're going to need to start with a broadband connection, either cable or DSL. Um, you want that high speed. Um, that way you have a nice, you know, moving picture instead of, you know, a couple of frames uh, a second. Um, so, of course, you're going to start with a uh, internet router um, like the DIR825 um, to connect all of your uh, cameras to. Um, but uh, getting your camera connected can be as simple as connecting it with an Ethernet cable. Or in the case of, say, like this DCS1130, you can go wireless. Um, but let's say you want to put uh, the camera in uh, the nursery so that you can watch your baby um, but you don't want to punch a hole in the wall because you rent um, a good solution for that would be to use something like power line which uses the the lines in your uh, walls the power lines already installed in your walls for connectivity or um, something like the mocha that uses uh, the cable lines for your cable or satellite um, that works really well too um, something else that uh, I wanted to talk about was power over Ethernet. Now, what this would be good for is if you were going to, uh, c say, set up a camera in your garage, maybe up in the rafters to watch your tools. Maybe you have a, a large tool collection or something like that. Um, you could use power over Ethernet to power. Uh, what it does is it sends power over the unused wires in an Ethernet cable to power the device uh, that's at the end. Say like uh, this DCS3415 is a PoE camera, so you don't have to have an outlet nearby. Um, so let's go over uh, a, a bunch of the cameras here. Our cameras come in all different levels. This is the DCS1100. This is the wired version of this DCS1130. These are the My D-Link cameras. And what's nice about these cameras is that they don't take really much setup at all. They use a, an internet portal um, to view the video so you don't have to open up ports and stuff like that. But they're a very basic camera you know, to start with. They're you know, fixed uh, focal length. They're good for doing things like you know, the baby cam that I had mentioned or uh, you know, like a nanny cam. Maybe you, uh, you know, want to keep an eye on your baby while you're out to dinner. Um, that moves up to things like uh, the DCS3415. Um, this is a low light camera, so this can take uh, video in almost dark. Then you move up from that to, these are pan tilt zoom cameras. These ones can actually, you can control them over the internet um, you know, using the web page that you log into. Um, you can see the difference between this one's lens and this one, this one here has a uh, 10 times digital zoom. This one has 10 times optical zoom and digital zoom. So this one you can view really far distances and still have a nice picture. So why would you want to connect it over the internet? Well, like I had mentioned, you want to uh, you know watch what the babysitter's doing, um, you know while you're out to eat. You could check it on a 3G uh, cell phone. Or maybe you're going to go on vacation and you want to set up a security camera. These have motion detection built into them. So you can take and set up an area in the frame that if there's any motion detection detected in that frame, um, it's going to start recording. Like our DNS 323, um, you can have these uh, record to a, a network attached storage device or even have them record off-site to an FTP. Um, another nice thing is I had mentioned before was night vision. Um, you have things like these dome cameras uh, that would go up in the ceiling. These things have night vision as well. Um, or even if you wanted to put something outdoor, you could use something like one of these enclosures. So D-Link makes a wide variety of these network cameras, all the way from something that's just a starter camera, all the way up to uh, you know waterproof uh, you know outdoor enclosures. 
So if you are looking to set up some type of a security system with cameras, these network cameras are a really awesome way to do it. So that's going to do it for this episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike, and thanks for watching. Hi, everybody. Today we're going to talk about cameras. Let's do it again.